All right, the first thing we'll do is we will look at this custom extension I've made that will output data via the USB lead so we can plot it in the Arduino terminal and this will let us help us to understand the behavior of the ultrasonic sensor. So the first thing we need to do is we just need to open it and set the board rate. I use a high um, board rate. A lot of people use 9,600. And as a bit of a demo, let's do a forever loop. And if we have a look here, I have three different types. I have print number, I have print line number, and I have print text. So first off, just click the print number, and the number we're gonna print is number one. And then I'm also just gonna have a little bit of wave it here. So let me connect. I'm on COM4, connect to it, and then hit upload. Now, Windows only lets one uh, app connect to a COM port at a time. So for me to be able to connect the Arduino, I have to disconnect in make block first. Go over to Arduino IDE, come up to tools, make sure my COM port, oh, is set at the correct COM port, and I can go to tools, and in tools is both a serial monitor and a serial plotter. First off, we're just gonna have a look at the serial monitor. We need to ensure that I have the correct ball rate here. And what you'll find is every second, it's going to print a one. All right, that's easy enough, All right? So let's close that down, come back around here. So this time, instead of printing in number one, we're going to go print line, and we're going to print number one as well, but using print line. Put that back in there. Let's connect to him. Connect, upload. disconnect, come back across to Arduino, and now I open up the serial monitor, and what you find is we get one, but after it prints one, it prints a carriage return so that it comes down to the next line. So we can also do stuff like, if we want to do print number one, comma number two, and then do a carriage return, you can put this in here. So we can print number one, I'm gonna put a comma in there, Put this one here to number two and put that there. Let's go to connect, upload. Oh, so I did on uploading. Go upload. I need to disconnect. I come across the Arduino. Now if I open up my serial monitor, I get one comma two carriage return. One comma two carriage return. One comma two carriage return. All right, this will be fairly handy in a second, you'll see. Okay, let's start having a look at the behavior of this ultra, ultrasonic sensor. So I have the ultrasonic sensor here, this slider moves up and down, and it just simply measures the distance of, up to the slider. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this off here, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make myself a variable called distance. I'm gonna set that distance to the ultrasonic sensor, and on mine, that's in port nine is what it's plugged into. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just simply gonna print the distance. I'm gonna do that every 0 0.1 of a second. All right. Connect, upload, Disconnect, come back across to Arduino, look at the serial monitor. You can see when we move it down, the numbers get smaller. When we move it up, the number gets bigger. You notice every once in a while we get these 400s. And that's what the ultrasonic sensor does. Anytime it doesn't get a good reading, it just spits out 400s. So that's a bit of a pain for us. So basically we want to reject those. Now we notice when we go all the way to the top, whoop, you only get about 28, 29 or something like that. So I think we can reject any measurements that are larger than 40. We're only interested in the measurements that are less than 40. So let's close this down, come back across here. Let's get a if statement, control, less than, less than say 40. So any time distance, is less than 40, 
then we'll print him out. All right, so instead of printing him out all the time, we're only going to print him out when he's less than 40. All right, let's connect to that. Connect to that. Upload. Let's uh, disconnect. Come back across to Arduino. Go into tools. We go serial monitor. And now we get pretty nice readings. Right, all the way down quite low. All the way up quite big. All right, we're getting already now getting better readings now. We get all the way down to there. And of course, when he gets too close, I think it's just because my hand, he has nothing he can see down there. He gets quite close down there like that. All right, now, the other thing we can do is to just writing on the screen, we can actually plot them. The serial plotter there. You can see when the plotter comes down, it gives a low number, when the plotter goes all the way up, he gets up there, he gets close to 30. It's all the way down here, he gets close to. Oh. What you'll find is, even though I've got that head held dead still, you notice how the measurements are moving around. Now that's what the ultrasonic sensor does. It doesn't give a very stable reading. What I did find at the moment, I'm only running it off the USB power. If I connect the battery to this and give it battery power, I still get some movement in my ultrasonic sensor, but it actually gives more stable readings. All right, so I'm going to go and do that now. Okay, I've got to put a little two cell battery on it, plugged it in, turned it on so I've got a good power supply. And what I'm going to do is going to make it loop fast. Instead of waiting 0.1 of a second, let's go point, um, 0 0.02 of a second. And we're also going to get him to start playing some note. And this is, again, my own custom extension here. This plays the notes on the buzzer using a hardware timer, not using software. And what that means is, is it doesn't type the CPU. It can actually play a note and read the ultrasonic sensor at the same time. So what we do is we start him up playing, and we're gonna set our note in here to our distance. And now if he plays forevermore, this thing will never shut up. So what we're actually gonna do, instead of doing it forevermore, let's do repeat until um, my captive touch sensor is touched. So touch sensor, here's touch sensor here. And my touch sensor is in port 10. If I go repeat to port 10, so let's put all that in that loop there, get rid of that forever loop, and repeat until it's touched. And then after it's touched, we're going to go stop playing. All right, so let's upload that one. Disconnect. Go across to our Arduino. Let's open up our serial plotter. Now what you'll notice, it doesn't go smoothly. It jiggles around. If you see the plotter, you can see that's what the ultrasonic sensor reads. It's not a stable reading. It's a jiggling reading. So what we need to do is we need to add some filtering on now to smooth all that out. Okay, let's look at smoothing this out now. I'm gonna make a second variable called note distance and note distance is gonna be a smooth version of distance or a filtered version. So what we can look at is let's look at the difference between the two. So if I just simply say, oh, this down here. if I say variables, if I go distance minus note distance, that's the difference between them. If I was actually to change note distance by that amount, it means note distance would be exactly the same as distance, but that's not what we want. We want note distance to follow distance around, but not follow it around too quickly. So I won't change it by that amount. I'll change it by a scale down factor. Right, let's just try first of all, a fairly small scale down factor. Let's go 0 0.01. So it's only gonna change it. It's just gonna creep it slowly, slowly towards it. Right, let's put that in here. 
And let's also print both of them out together now. So let's get um, a print number. And we're going to put a comma in between them and a print line. So the first one, I'm going to print out the distance, the actual distance coming out of it. Then I'm going to put a comma. And then I want to print out the note distance. And then I actually also want to play the note distance as well. All right. So let's connect that. Connect. Upload. Once it finishes uploading, we'll disconnect. Come across. Open up the serial plotter. What you can see is that wherever wherever the blue line is, the red one wants to try to follow towards it, but in a much smoother fashion. So it does it beautiful and smoothly. But at the moment, it's taking too long. So what we need to do is we need to speed up the, the rate at which it follows it. So let me shut this thing up. We come back to here. And instead of doing it by 0 0.01, let's do it by 0 0.1. Connect. Upload. And disconnect. Come across here, go to tools, serial plotter. So you can see it came, it followed it much quicker then. still follows it in a smoother fashion. At the moment, it doesn't play just whole notes. The note it plays is whatever distance it is. And it can be, a, and it's a decimal point distance. So just to get us to play whole notes, I'm gonna make one more uh, variable called play note. And basically I'm just gonna set play note play note, to be equal to the rounding off of note distance. All right, so you understand it's just the, the whatever the closest bit's going to be. And I'm going to add it to my list here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go, need to print another number here, and then put another comma in. So what we're going to do is we're going to print distance, comma, note distance, comma, there's my variables, play note. Right, so we're actually going to print out three of them. And what I'm actually going to play at the end there, I'm going to do play note. Now at the moment, because um, note zero is middle A, and we always have at least a few centimetres past um, the, the ultrasonic sensor, so it's playing quite high notes. So just so it plays a lower note, I might just drop it down, say, about 15 notes. Right, that way it's playing either side of middle A. All right, that's what's actually going to be played out. What will be graphed will be the same as normal, but what's going to play out will be there. All right, so let's upload this. Let's disconnect. Go across to the Arduino. Let's have a look at our serial plotting here. And you'll see the green line is the note it's playing. So you can see how even the red line's going up and down a bit, it's holding a fairly stable note. It's playing full notes. It's doing a complete jump from one note to another note. It's a bit more pleasant to listen to as well that playing 15 notes lower. <laughs> You can add hysteris if you want. I did have hysteris in mind, but to me, when I look at that graph, 
That's pretty neat. You like getting jiggling around and when you listen to it. You can see it's all right, so now we'll look at adding that it only plays the note when that's being touched. All right, so a couple of things is, let's pull out the play note. And also that will need to be pulled out of the loop there to go into a forever loop. So forever loop, that goes into there. Let's pull all this stuff out for the moment. Stop playing. We can get rid of him. I start playing there. So we have a forever loop. I'm going to pull out two if statements. All right. All right. We've got two of those for the two states I've touched. All right. So the first if statement is going to be if the sense is touched and our state machine play state equals zero all right play state means we're not currently playing all right so if the sense is touched and the play state equals zero we need to do two things we need to number one start it playing and also we need to now set this play state to one. Huh? And then the second one we want when it's not touched. So here's not. So when touch sense is not touched and play state equals one. So if we have not being touched and play state is number one, in that case, what we need to do is we need to stop playing and set the state machine to zero. So you can understand that. If it's being touched and it's turned off, then turn it on and set the state machine to knowing that it's turned on. If it's not touched, and it's turned on, then stop playing and set the state's machine to off. All right? We can pop that just into there to loop round and round and round. Now, now we all got it working, we don't actually need any of these serials because we're not going to be printing it to the screen anymore, we're just going to be playing the note. Right, and that's basically the, the simple guitar there. So let's upload that. Now I realize when I'm recording these things that the computer tries to remove um, annoying tones in the background. So although it might not sound the best on the video, Da, da. I think that will do for this long video. Yeah.